In today's video, I am very proud to present our second winter forecast for the winter of 2023 to 2024. Before we get straight into things, be sure to check out our other business prestige weather in the description and pinned comment down below where we do have early access to a lot of our seasonal videos, just like this one was an early access before getting uploaded here. We are releasing our snowfall forecast over there, so be sure to check it out in the pinned comment and description down below. It's only five bucks a month. Let's get straight into things, and we are taking a look here at the temperature forecast first things first. I do want to mention that there will be some similarities here, obviously, as our initial forecast is still standing pretty true. We have made some alterations. We'll go over those throughout the video as well. So we will be on the lookout for those, of course. Let's get straight into it. And we do see some warmer than normal conditions along the West Coast here. So for states like Washington, uh, Idaho, Oregon, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, and uh, California there, we all are seeing warmer than normal conditions for a lot of these different areas. So we're going to be watching for what's called a positive PNA pattern to set up. And all that means is warmer temperatures along the western regions of North America. It stands for Pacific North American Oscillation, and that is exactly what we're expecting this upcoming winter and actually as we add another layer here we can see there's even further above normal temperatures expected here for a lot of the northwest so especially washington idaho montana oregon northern regions of california most of nevada and then most of utah there as well these are areas where we feel even more confident in the above normal temperatures this upcoming winter by the way we're not going based off of of kind of calendar winter we're going based off of december 1st through the very end of February, which is meteorological winter. Now let's just add the cooler than normal conditions. I'm sure you guys are wondering where that's gonna be. As you can see, we expect a lot of this for uh, the, the eastern two thirds, eastern, eastern half maybe of the United States, basically from the plains eastward. We are expecting overall some cooler conditions. We are gonna be in El Nino year, which does tend to bring some more storminess to this area. We're gonna get into that in a little bit, of course. But with storminess comes less sun, it comes more cloudiness, more snowfall. All of these things will also contribute to these below normal temperatures. But not only that, with this warmer air mass set up in the west that you can see here, this is going to encourage cooler air to dive southward in the eastern regions of the states. And that is exactly what we're going to be watching closely for. As we add our second layer of below normal temperatures, we can see a lot of these set up for the east as well. So a majority of that lighter blue region is also in this second layer. So we're seeing these further below normal temperatures here. And this is definitely an area where we're expecting some pretty cool conditions to take place. As we add our third layer here, and this is the most confident area of below normal temperatures, we can see for a lot of the upper Midwest and Great Lakes as well as the Ohio Valley is where we expect the coolest of these conditions. I would say the biggest change that we've seen here on this forecast has been a push west in these cooler temperatures. Originally, we had this reaching the coast, I believe, in our last update. We have pushed this further and further west over time. So we have seen a slight shift in that. Obviously, it's very good news that there's no massive changes here because you want that first forecast to be good. So to see some slight alterations is exactly what we want to be seeing here. Uh, we want to see models and predictions to be looking pretty on par with what we've been expecting already for a month plus. Now, as we just dive into the precipitation forecast here, we can see we expect below normal precipitation for a lot of the northwest, even up into the northern plains and upper midwest. So for this area here, we expect less storms to come through this pocket. Very, very traditional El Nino type pattern. And we'll dive into that in a little bit. We do have a second layer here, and this is where we're further confident in these below normal precipitation areas. Here, as you can see, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, portions of Montana, portions of Wyoming, portions of Utah, and portions of Nevada there are all included in this pretty far below normal precipitation area. And again, this all goes pretty on par with what is typically expected in an El Nino. So uh, nothing too crazy here yet. I would say the precipitation forecast has changed a lot less than the temperature forecast. As we add the above normal precipitation area here, this is going to help us kind of just walk you guys through with what we in general expect here. 
Uh, in, a, in a El Nino, you see this area really, really dry, and that's sure enough what we're calling for here. You see a lot of the storms actually come on through the northwest, or the north uh, southwest, better yet, and we see them take a track similar to this. You really get this area cut off from a lot of those storms. They're sliding underneath here, and that is a traditional El Nino winter type pattern. Let's say it was a La Nina, hypothetically. Uh, what we would see is above normal precipitation in this area and very very dry in the in the southwest and we would see these storms diving through like this oftentimes that would be a lot more of what you expect so quite the opposite to say the least i would say the west is where things really change the most due to el nino or la nina we do actually have a second layer here of this above normal precipitation and this is going to be again for areas in southern california and southern arizona there Definitely some very, very stormy conditions on the way is the expectations as of now. Let's keep going. And as you can see, for a lot of the east as well, we expect the above normal precipitation. Because again, these storms are going to roll through these gulf areas and also along the eastern seaboard in a more nor'easter fashion. And sure enough, we see this taking place here on my precipitation forecast. So we can expect all of these areas to have a pretty wet and pretty snowy winter depending on where you're at due to these temperatures and precipitation forecast. We do have a second layer for this pocket as well where these nor'easters are probably gonna be quite frequent this year. This will also set up for some really good snowfall opportunities along the eastern seaboard. Some very classic east blizzards have taken place in these types of years with these types of storm tracks. So we are gonna be on high alert for these types of storms to take place now for what you all have probably been waiting for let's just dive into the overall forecast here and as you can see we have changed a little bit here there is some similarities we've changed the colors up here made it look all beautiful and everything as always so let's just walk through it okay so we expect super dry conditions for the northwest it's pretty night and day as we described earlier between la nina and el nino so in this type of a year you do expect very very dry conditions to take place now that doesn't really stop the mountain snowfall because even with more minimalistic types of storms these areas are so cold they're going to see so much frequent snow in the rockies that it's not going to make a massive difference either way so we expect overall to see still typical snowfall in a lot of the rockies and cascades maybe slightly below normal but below normal is still just astronomical snowfall amounts so you're not going to walk outside and be like wow it was an el nino this year and it hardly snowed that's not going to happen in the cascades and rockies regardless of anything here so that is why almost always you will see me calling for typical snow in the cascades and rockies it's not going to be noticeable above average storms however for the southwest is what's expected uh, no surprise here either really we've talked about this time and time again uh, again, in an El Nino, above average storms is going to be what you expect to see. Cold and snowy to the east of the Rockies. I do think that this is an area in particular that in, in either an El Nino or a La Nina, you expect to see cold and snowy conditions. Uh, because in an El Nino, we still see these storms rolling through the southwest and diving like this. And you still see some snowfall for these pockets here. In a La Nina, you see it kind of dive south like this, and you still see snowfall here. So it's one of those areas where either way, you kind of get a lot of cold and snow at times, and that is exactly what I expect this year. Now, as we just roll along here with this precipitation forecast, so again, as we just kind of put that storm track on screen here, very stormy for a lot of the deeper south areas. Uh, that is due to this frequent storm track that is going to roll through. Now, we do expect polar vortex to be possible this winter. Um, all the signs so far are aligning that it is going to be possible for this polar vortex to make a couple of appearances. Just for instance, if you remember last December around Christmas, we had extremely cold conditions. That was a type of polar vortex event. So that is the type of conditions you would expect in that type of circumstance. Arctic blasts to the south of there are going to be quite frequent. Again, we expect this positive PNA to set up out west. I'm going to put a little positive here and that forces these uh, arctic blasts south for these areas so that is why we expect that overall this year winter battle zone for this pink area and what that means is this is going to be a battle between rain snow ice and all of the above really anything in between you expect to see a lot of these precipitation 
fluctuations in, in the types, and you're going to see a lot of mixed bag storms in this winter battle zone area. Worst of winter expected for the interior eastern United States as a lot of these storms roll through. Whether it be onshore or offshore, you are going to expect to see some snowfall in this worst of winter area. And that is kind of the bullseye as of now for big time storms. And I think in last update, we had this along the eastern seaboard. But with the little bit of a west trend in that cooler conditions, we've pushed everything back a little bit west, including that worst of winter area. But as you can see, we still expect huge snowstorms to be possible along this eastern seaboard area. And by now, they're certainly due for it, I would say, uh, just based on how the last few years have gone. I would say we're in for a big year of some snowfall. Obviously, that is not a statistic that you can really use to make a forecast. But in an El Nino year like this, where you do expect those coastal storms and frequent cold blasts, the odds are going to be higher. And I can say that with uh, pretty high confidence at this point. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this second presentation of our winter forecast. There are certainly more updates in this and uh, among other things to come. So be sure to subscribe for more daily weather videos just like this one. Also hit the bell icon for notifications when we upload so you never miss one. Be sure to like this video if you did enjoy it. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts and I will see you guys in the next video.